engineers and business moguls and all these people, they feel saying that they be the only human beings for Nigeria. The rest of us are animals to them. And they tell you, um, let me repeat to you, the rich people, politicians and business elites of Nigeria, they feel like they are white. And the way the white people feel towards Africans, they feel that they have used their money. They feel they don't take their money by whiteness. Because that's why they always want to access anything where white man do the most. They want to buy the best expensive waiting white man. Because they feel, say, that money is whiteness. So the rest of you are animals. They are the only human beings. That's why they treat us the way they treat us. You don't see the road network of Nigeria. I tell people, say, that road, where did they use? Where did they, the road of Nigeria, is it for human beings? That, look at the road. It's for goods, for animals. Look at our public schools. Some school no get roof. People they train the bit is animal. They think everybody is an animal. I swear. But among all of us, we be animals. They have some pets. But you see the thing about those pets, you know, Malcolm X called them, say they be house negro. Malcolm X they use the analysis of field negro and house negro. But that means when we were slaves, we don't free now. So when free people see they behave like they, that's animal behavior now we get, not be slave behavior again, because they don't free you now. Why are you behaving like a slave? Because you are an animal. Mm -hmm. They believe you are an animal. That's their way. So in the like, where they use animal and pets, because I see what they do in Africa. You understand? So these pets, they say, forget, say, even though they say you be pets, pets are still waiting, pets are animal. So because they allow all these pets, they near them, give them small food, make a chop, chihuahua. So anytime when they need chihuahua to bark, they will call them outside. You know, understand? So last week when Polo say make a whole me, she won't come, that be two weeks, say, I must choose who be my old girl for Lagos. I refuse. Their chihuahua come outside. You know, you go immediately, their chihuahua will come outside. And they do my life now. A person say, innocent, they make car. You know, see Nigeria, they make car. I see Nigeria, they make car with the assemble car. See, and the car is even too expensive. Hmm? Next thing, they release their chihuahua outside. And they look for entire, I don't see one article by a credit alert journalist. You see, this is how you know, see, these people are, they, they are very useless and they lack imagination. They are useless and they lack imagination. Innocent lacks imagination because with all the money where innocent gets, me I believe say you want to attack you with a journalist, you know, go get Chihuahua a credit alert. You go 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 abroad, get good journalists, we get good standing. You go carry journalists with the pursue for Oxford. The pseudo intellectuals of Nigeria, the pseudo intellectuals, you know what you mean to be pseudo, pseudo na Latin for fake. These fake intellectuals, you know, they are Twitter intellectuals. We be say when they talk anything, they go they model them. The internet, anybody is an intellectual on the internet. But you see, for a place like Oxford, to enter Oxford, me, I don't perform for Oxford. I carry my music, go their hollow chambers, go give them a show. I don't play for their festivals. They no pursue me. When I say they bring my sense, they no pursue me for Oxford. This motherfucker journalist, where they go call, where they can't write hit piece, this chihuahua, he writes book, he won't go talk about it. They're pursuing for Oxford, say, this is your nonsense where you write, is anti-intellectual. He said, they say the thing no get sense inside. I can never mention the journalist's name. I don't say, me from now, I can't, if you must reach my level for me to mention your name for this. So now they are a guy I go to talk to. Me could not send on a chihuahua. I will address you direct. Now they fear to address me direct. Because now they fear. You know some they fear. <laughs> you don't understand. The two when they know if you talk, now go call na chihuahua. Me they come talk. Mm. So now, now me I will still answer. Okay? So they ask me, Nigeria, Nigeria know they make car. Let me repeat. Nigeria, the best we do and we have ever done is assembled car. I can't put for my Twitter. And since I put that in for my Twitter, they never reply. I say, Nigeria, where is the intellectual property 
I hope say when I don't go read this article, I want to implore all Nigerians to go and read this article where they compose to the Chihuahua because the article, if you read them, very technical. Me, I know say that Chihuahua, where they say, we go Oxford, where they pursue from Oxford, can never get the uh, engineering specs to write such an article. They write the article from Innocent, give her, make him put a name under. You know, as a credit, alas, hungry journalist. Because journalists, we say they the right to chop. You know, that's how these journalists, John John journalists, you know, do any research. They just write, I just put and there, blah. Now, in this journalist, this journalist won't make Una believe as Nigerians. You know, son, through this journalist, wants us to believe as Nigerians that we are making car because of him. That we are making car because of him. Because of his personal business. Nigerian youth must believe that this is how you make car. You see how I tell you about the elders of Africa, of Nigeria especially, of Africa at large. The elders are irresponsible. They are cowards. I will say it anywhere. Because of his own personal business, say, he wants you people to believe that this is what it means to make a car. He wants us to believe that that is what it means to make a car, just for his personal interest. I repeat, if that is what it means to make a car, the Innocent is not the only car manufacturer in Nigeria. It's not the only car maker, sorry. It's not the only car maker in Nigeria. Because I they watch news every day, I they see small boys, so they do what Innocent they do now. Where they could just gather different, different Oyibo components, knock wood together. Mm? <laughs> knock wood together, enter inside, say, knock car. And I never see them. How many boys they make car? Boys they make car every week for Nigeria now. If, that, if that's the case, boys are making cars every week in Nigeria. How many news we don't watch? Where boys they roll them to outside? Now when they see all those boys, most more boys, most more children, they don't even get factory. Where this one get to? They don't get the money where he gets. Small, small children, small boys. They will just come outside. They, just, they, just, they don't enter one thing. Start time. They will do, 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 say, in you generator, engine, add this one, put this one. Now when they see all those cars, so Nigeria don't make, we don't make car a long time. We don't they make car a long time. <laughs> if that's the case, if that is the case, we have been making cars for long. Why, why, why are we stressing? Why do, why are we stressing ourselves? We have been making cars long time. <laughs> Abi, everybody is making cars now. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody is making car. If that's the case, Nigeria does not have any intellectual property. We don't own the intellectual property for any car technology. I say for the article, I felt so. I say go read that for the article itself. He's trying to tell us say what we believe. They, they say what we believe. Say manufacturing is is not what it is, right? So they try to tell me say so they, uh, they can't bring Boeing. They use Boeing as example. So this is how you know the level of anti-intellectualism that exists in our journalists. I'm coming to organize abandonment of media. Today, organized abandonment is food matter. But I'm just using this one. This is how you know how anti-intellectual our media people is. That kind of year, Chihuahua journalist. Ah, they talk about car, right? We are talking about car. Oh. Now car, we talk say so they manufacture. Oh. Go read their article that they explain aeroplane. I repeat, I was talking about a car. These people are using aeroplane. Boeing, an aeroplane manufacturer, to compare themselves. Is, is aeroplane the same thing as car? Is aeroplane the same thing as a car? Hmm. First of all, is it what it takes to make a car that it takes to make an aeroplane? I repeat, is it the same thing it takes to make a car that it takes to make an aeroplane? Innocent. Innocent, sir. Innocent, sir. <laughs> because when I said what I said, let, let it go. Don't go and pay Chihuahua. Because I don't know, why are you people, why, why are your feelings on an ego? Why are you so brittle, all you rich billionaires? People already have everything. But you are so brittle. All of you are so weak. Any small thing, when I won't jump. But you never jump to fix on a country before. The thing that happened for our country never pain on a rich before to jump. 
But when she won't talk one thing, I go pitch her, and I won't jump. Very dark black man talk one thing, and I won't jump. The situation of my country never make one. I won't jump like that before because I'm not the cousin. I'm not the cousin. What kind of false analysis, what kind of false comparison is that to compare making a plane to making a car? What kind of... See, that's how they manipulate your brain. Because they, so, because Boeing, they say Boeing, they make one part for here. Boeing, Boeing, they make one part for here. Boeing, they make one part for here. So does that mean Boeing doesn't make car? Boeing makes car. Yeah. And Boeing, I said Nigeria never make car. I said the only assembles car. So Boeing assembles it. But I, Boeing in America, Boeing is an American company. America makes planes. Different fighter jets. Right? Planes, Boeing, these people are part of that military industrial complex. Boeing makes its planes. What goes into making a plane is different from what goes into making a car. What goes into making a plane that takes off and flies is different from what goes into making a car that moves on the ground. To compare the manufacturing process, to compare the manufacturing process of an aeroplane to the manufacturing process of a car, shame on you people. It's obvious, say, on a one deliberately, they deceive Nigerian youths. Innocent, please repeat after me. What is Benz? What is BMW? They are both German companies making German cars. Right? They are both German companies making German cars. Do you know what makes Mercedes-Benz a car maker and BMW? Should I tell you what makes them car makers? I know if you take any parts from BMW, put inside Benz. They are both from Germany. They are made in the same country. I repeat, I know if you carry even window presser, window controller from Benz. I know if you put them for BMW and it will work. That is what they call intellectual property. Original design. You know, they not be mixed. Car not be Lego. Cars are not Lego. You know, if they mix and match parts, when you make a car from a company, right? Audi is also a German company. I want to use Volkswagen. Volkswagen. Audi. Um, Volkswagen. Audi. Benz and Bimla. And BMW. Bimla Motor Works. These are four German different companies, right? Moto no be Lego. They don't burn anybody where to take any part from any of these four car interchange. National League, you people are there as so if I say that is that an insult to you? Is that what you are doing? Even in your article when you take is when I take the session, shut up. You know so shut up. See this kind man no. So that's how you be. I never my 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 discussion was not even an insult. It was say, oh, we assemble it and I criticize you, which is good. Say, Your cars are expensive. It's true. It's expensive. How can you build a car in Nigeria? There's that amount. Who won't buy it? And you are shooting yourself in the foot because young people would rather import a good car than drive your car. Fact. You think if the people that were the Bolivian government that started making cars for their people, you think if they were making expensive cars, their people would buy it and not go and buy the expensive car they are using before. You make the car according to the needs of your people. The needs of your people, not the needs of your pocket. Not the needs of your pocket. You can go write article. Say Shionkuti is doing this one. Shionkuti is doing that one. Based on the lies. Based on lies that you are telling yourself. So you don't want to improve more than where you are. You don't want to carry your car to international car show as, a, as your own car. You say you don't want to reinvent the wheel. Do you want to reinvent the wheel? Now, why be, why Audi? No go go they assemble BM Moto for their company. Say they are, uh, since Gem, uh, since since Benz have um, done Moto, since BMW has done Moto, uh, we in Audi too want to do our own car. There's no need for us to reinvent the door. There's no need for us to design our lights. A uh, Benz has designed light. Uh, Benz has... Even in your article, you said yourself, you pay to enter into the, you pay for the design and the schematics of these other companies. You pay to assess their designs.
Meaning you don't have the desire. Now let's look at Nigeria in whole. Nigeria, even in your article, you say these things. So why must you attack me? It's because I said your car is too expensive. I don't want to pay you. That's not my fault. That's your, that's your fault. That's your Ojukoko, the big mouth. Anybody with business like that, they won't become billionaire overnight. You know, say, you cannot invest in your country. You must be part of its development. Let me repeat. You can't invest in your country. It's either you are part of its development or you are just a businessman on your own. Now they make me vex. When people go say, even people can't, de even people, now even people develop Lagos, Yoruba people say, we'll come aside. Which can't tell me that? Now we Yoruba develop Lagos. All these discussions to deceive African people, to deceive Nigerian people that some kind of development is going on. No Igbo man, no Yoruba man has developed Lagos. What they have done is develop themselves. Themselves. What you are doing, Innocent, is you are developing yourself. You are not developing a Nigerian car manufacturing process. You are not developing the Nigerian car industry. You are developing yourself as a businessman. Don't sell your business as a national business. This is what I tell to everybody. When they say, hey, look at the house where people build for the locals. Look at the house. You know what I'm saying? Look at the bank where the people build. You know what I'm saying? Look at our bank. Look at the... This is personal business. If you build a private estate for your personal business, it's your personal development. Private estate not be public housing. Public housing is development. Private estate is investment. All you people do in our country is invest. You've never developed anything before. All the schools that you build are private schools. None of them are public schools. So it cannot be development. It can only be personal investment. All we are experiencing is personal investment. Even people develop Lagos. And you people develop Kano. How some people develop this one? Nobody has developed anywhere. All these people do is invest. And investment is not development. I don't tell you that this thing before. Investment simply means, investment simply means you put small in and you take big out. Investment simply means exactly somebody say Dangote refinery. That one is the biggest one of all. Try to lie to us that, that Dangote's personal business is our business. The government don't go they fund the lie. Dangote's refinery is Dangote's investment. Now our public refinery be development. Look at the roads of Nigeria. Look at the roads of Nigeria. I repeat, now road is it for human being? Maybe only na, maybe only now when they travel around Lagos, they move for some kind of area for Lagos, Ikeja, you know, VI, you know. They never really travel across this country or travel to some areas in Lagos, Ogun State. They never move around this country well. Some of us that have, all I see is road for goods. Not for human beings, for where? For animals. I say to any at the type where I say, if they are business, no need them. They can never put it. There's never been development since 1999, with the help of Obasanjo, Elumelu, Dangote, or Tedola, that launched the and Okonjo Ewela, that launched the privatization of all our public assets in Nigeria, sold it to themselves for cheap and their friends. Hmm? There has not been any single thing. They, they bought everything Nigeria owned for cheap. Cheap! I can never forget the electricity one that formed this, their so called disco. Okonjo, when I tell us, see, everything we get was worth 9 billion. The entire lights infrastructure, 9 billion. She can't renovate them, say the thing was broken down. So nobody won't buy them, see, because our light infrastructure is not good. She can't refurbish our transmission generation. She refurbished her with under $3 billion. Something will worth $9 billion. They refurbish her with $3 billion. That means $12 billion is on ground. One way, they sold it for less than $3 billion to themselves. Now, since all this privatization, there has never been any development. They took everything and they used them for themselves only. 
in the sense now we say since that time they believe if their business no need them nigerians don't need it i repeat whatever you have where you care for nigeria like this if these people business no they use them they don't need it from they don't they don't bring it is it internet is because business need internet i'm telling you anything where you get for nigeria today is because their business need those things to operate without their business needing those things to operate they can never bring it to nigeria you understand so now how do you make a car without a steel mill even in their own article where they want to insult me they made this point they know it is impossible to say you are making car where is the intellectual property say this is your car you cannot take one Oga, respect yourself stop sending your chihuahuas to me we're not on the same level i know say for our world mr innocent for our world when they exist you know you don't have, nobody can criticize anybody it happened go for our music industry so now because you are saying you are a manufacturing car because you the couple other people design other people idea other people design are you trying to say that young african people must not design their own headlamp design their own car the engine do you know that's the car design your own engine you're going to hear say your own engine they give us how many horsepower now the g-a-m-g all these things that they hear from benz is the engine the design of the engine that's the car Oh guy, you don't design engine before. Where is your engine design? Where is your engine? Internal combustion engine. Under internal combustion. Don't just go move. See what you show us engine. We need to fit couple there. We need to build there. Your country gets steel mill. Are you agitating for a steel mill in your country? I doubt it. Fab, wait, I'm coming. Welcome, bro. Give me a second. Let me finish this live. You know, we don't have a steel mill in this country, but you want Nigerians to believe that you, you are making car. And I didn't even say it as a spite, just like, the advice make cheaper cars for the people. Me, I'm going to advertise them for you. You know, go pay me shishi. That's anybody. You don't need to pay me shishi. If I say, eh, you want to make Nigerian people their life better. Shishi. We go push and make a go buy. I will find that's what we take support. We will find the buyer. People will say with the driver. We want the sell car. Thirty thousand naira minimum wage. Car twenty five million, thirty million for who? Where we say Benz gone at twenty five million, thirty million. Benz. I can get A class, new one, twenty thousand dollar. <laughs> you said the sell car twenty thousand dollar. You get my do. <laughs> You want to say car thirty thousand, forty thousand? Oh my liar! Yeah. <laughs> so, sending your attack dog, your little chihuahuas, make any sense? So all these people, they run Nigeria as their business. Which brings me to the food matter. Same thing about the food matter. Could you hear it? Just say, young Nigerians should embrace farming. Young Nigerians should embrace farming. Young Nigerians should go back to the farm. Young Nigerians should farm, farm, farm. Nigerians should farm, farm, farm. The majority of Nigerian people are in the rural areas. I repeat, the majority of Nigerian people are in the rural areas where all the arable land is for farming. If government is serious, not before city they go to shout, you so farm, farm, farm. Government go establish the farms. Yes, exterior government, they go not establish the farms, make it good incentive for people to go and work in the farms. How do, let's use America, uh, we could use America, uh, this thing for example, uh, army, the American army. He said people won't go die for army. Who won't go join army? Go die. <laughs> you know why people they join army for America? Is the incentives. Say if you go one tour, meaning if you go fight one, if they send you abroad, you go fight one, you come back, they will give you free college education. Free college education. 
they will give you so and so amount. This, that, that. Health benefits. This, that. Our boys in Yapawa, I mean, even our children for Nigeria, I get one best friend for school. One of my best friends for secondary school, a German for Nigeria Airport one day. Ah, that's why in chess, in chess, don't big like this. This boy, that's why he's turning back and forth. That's why he don't big. He carry all those American soldier back. Oh my, I'm a lot. Oh, she part, what's he rack? Like, they give me. Oh, job, America. Oh, I am in my walk. He explained all the incentives. I, I was, I was like, Omo, he is not be saving himself. I get everything they work for me. Omo came in on kit up. Kalok by Allah, I want to get that new. <laughs> so, if the Nigerian government <coughs> actually wanted young people here to work, to be in the family, they will put the incentive there. That will make all of you go and farm. But uh, it's obvious. All that one are still part of this scam. Nobody cares about feeding us in Africa. You understand what I tell you? Even if you enter the farming, <clears throat> even if you enter the farming, you know, we can't find out, say, 70% of what we are growing on our arable, 70% of our arable land, the arable land in Nigeria is used to grow cash crops. I repeat, 70% of the arable land in Nigeria is used to grow cash crops. Crops where they use to export for money, not to eat. Things you cannot eat. That is what they grow. Coffee, palm oil, cocoa, granite. All these things they send to Europe and America for money. The real staple diet that we eat, that the food that we eat, they don't grow enough of it. That's why food is so expensive. It is the economics of it. When demand is high and supply is low, what happens? If demand is high and supply is low, what happens? Price goes up. So the Nigerian elders, this Obasan judge they in charge of food. The Dango takes them in charge of the food of that country. They know to keep supply low because of their business. Than to keep it matching or excess. In America, they subsidize the farmers to grow excess food. That's in Europe, they subsidize their farmer to grow excess food. More food than they need to eat. So the price of food will be cheap. The government will pay the farmers the extra that people don't buy. You understand? When they over, the ones that they can't move because it's, it's too much, the government guarantees them to buy it. So the farmers are giving the incentive to keep producing food. The farmers are giving the incentive because the government did their back. Say, I say, feed these people. The one with no feed job, we will buy. In Nigeria, the opposite is the case. Mm -hmm. And the opposite is the case because there no one make una know which they, they use the land to do. And they no make una know how they, they fail. You see, your poverty, lack of having money, mm -hmm. is their perfect excuse. So that's why they must make Nigerians poor and always make food price high. Our own elders, so we're supposed to give us food job. They will say they want respect from person who never chop. Deliberately starving their own people. Because if they give you good life, if they increase your minimum wage, they make you employed, they make food cheap, people feed by them. We go realize say they are not growing enough food to feed everybody. You know, say right now. Many people think say people who know the chop self now because they're lazy, they don't get work, they no feature. chop. That's like, oh God, you don't understand how they put you for that situation. If everybody in Nigeria could actually afford food, we will find out that the food gone is not available to buy. Now that one come post to my head. See which kind of people be this. So for them, it is better that the excuse for people not eating is poverty. So they need poverty today. So only few of us can even afford the expensive food. You understand? This game.
You understand this game? And then some people say, eh, eh, make, make on a no protest. These kind of people. Now, young people in Nigeria, now one thing we are not Mukuna, Mukuna fall for. They say, now they copy Kenya. <laughs> they say, Nigerian youth won't copy Kenya. Now, Kenya, they copy also. <laughs> Make Kuna no, see, this is how they manipulate our brain. This is how these people manipulate our brain. These fake, fake journalists, these chihuahuas. So you can be doing the same thing over and over again. We don't do what they do for Kenya for 2020. You. Ladies and gentlemen, don't diminish your, yourself. Do not diminish yourself. You don't do waiting. They don't. Which you, in fact, we do pass them for 2020. You make you not forget lucky. I don't. I don't wait people say make you not forget lucky to get to that lucky to get in a way is a distraction. No, now it is narrative. They keep people for lucky. Ozubam by the way, Ozubam. Now only Ozubam by the way they keep people. I see they talk that. That's they vex me. Say lucky massacre. Why are they saying Lekki Massacre? That thing they bust my brain. It was youth massacre. They killed young people all over this country. All over our country from Lagos to Ibadan to every area in Lagos, first of all. In fact, less people died in Lekki than Abu Liegba. Now, many of Natin say because the government is talking to the youth that they have succeeded. We too, we succeed now. They don't form panel for now. Even though they tell them that time, say this one is a failure. If we not succumb to this plan. But you know, people never trust me enough that time to understand how they talk. But we won. We too, we say we won. They create panel. People collect money. People collect money for government hand based on answers. Abused by different police. Now don't forget, we fight these people to, to stand still and stoop up. Many of the big men of Nigeria, they run come up for Nigeria now. All the allies of Nigeria are dismissed, they base. Now don't forget, it's not that they copy Kenya. Don't let them diminish you now. Don't let them diminish you. Kenya is doing what Kenya is doing. But you see, the outcome of what they are doing in Kenya will be the same as our own. Why? Because the Kenya youths are also not organized. In fact, they say they're leaderless. Why are young people afraid of being leaders? Why not they say that they're leaderless? You know why? Because they're afraid of being leaders. To, to be a leader of an, of an organization. No means say you be person or girl. This is not a girl. Not be chairman who define. A leader is somebody that is representing a group of leaders. I repeat, a leader is somebody representing a group of leaders. That's a leader. That's why the, the most advanced countries for this world, now country, we say their education, they prepare everybody for leadership. A country like Norway, where education standard is high, like Finland. Although everybody in the country is not in politics, they have the capacity. You know if you pull, you know if you use that for them. Organize yourself. Know what you are fighting for. One person, two people, three people, four people can represent that thing you are fighting for. But you self know. So now go send and say, let them know what we want. Because ten thousand people know if you enter meeting. We must organize ourselves. You see, Kenyan youth say, oh, we not get leader too. Just like we self say, we not get leader for twenty twenty. It is their opposition politicians in Kenya. That will hijack whatever they are doing. Just the way it is opposition politicians in Nigeria that hijack the energy of answers. So the Nigerian youth come they support the governor. The man will be saying when he be governor, now he get the worst SARS for Nigeria. The worst SARS in Nigeria. That's the man Nigerian youth ended up following. Because Nigerian youth refused to choose their own leader from among themselves. Leader with the fear arrest. You are not when you lead a people's organization, you are not alone. Not be very dark black man, they arrest. So didn't he come out? Why not the few to be this arrest? Now know how many people they arrest because of you to even feed the internet, to feed go school. 
You know they arrest Nkrumah, Lumumba, Fela, Fumilayo, Beko, Kanifawemi, Femi Falano, Wole eh, Shoyinka. So wait, this man can go through all this arrest and beating for you. But you don't want to do it for yourself, say that they fear arrest. Seize your destiny, man. Seize your calling, seize your way, seize your life in your own hand. You are your only. Let me say, I'm not go get leaders. Okay, if I fear to get leader, I'm not going to go follow people with the radio organized. I'm not going to get back. You must have somebody to articulate your position, or else you are going to lose again. And now, forget we young people want to protest again, right? The last one I want to talk for this life. Shame on Nigerian workers. I repeat, our papa, these fathers, we, the fathers and mothers, shame on all of you. Shame on all the civil servants. How many times we, the children of this country, are protesting, fighting answers. Now the children are still organizing again to go and protest on the streets to lay their life. About women protested. Right? Enugu coal miners protested. Abel Kota women protested. Right? Nothing really changed. But it was the beginning of something. Those protests, what did they really do? They inspired the civil service. The working class. The Nigerian Labor Union was founded under Mike Imodu. The late pa Mike Imodu. Based on the energies of this protest. Seeing that their people cannot survive. They used to call it in Kola. That time. Cost of living allowance. That was the beginning with these workers can take join their people to increase the cost uh, to re, uh, increase the cost of living allowance that was the beginning of the struggle against uh, colonialism pai modu used that to show solidarity with the uh, uh, coal miners with the aba women with the abekuta women the professionals of nigeria went on a general strike Without that general strike, there's no way our protests can make sense. Because the general strike is what affects the capitalist in the place he respects the most, in his pocket. But the workers of Nigeria, the parents of these children, are the worst enemies of their own children. Because regardless of what we are doing in this country to say, make this country move forward, these people will still go to work. Now they will blame the protesters. Nigeria needs a general strike for at least one month. Nigeria needs one month of general strike. Shut everything down. Make this government hear what? Make these elites hear what? Make them face everybody. Make the negotiations they happen for here. No matter how we protest, as long as there's no general strike, where the money is still being made in their pockets, their children are still flying up and down, all these their business are still opening, giving them all the they're not going to send. Where will the workers of Nigeria align with the people? When I go call protest for fuel, small, small things. When we say no, this, no, 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 no. That says don't come. Let me say, they don't go fix the pro, the fuel matter. Or they say we last one a minimum wage. They say they protest me. Government never fix minimum wage. They don't call off protest strike. They don't call strike off. Why strike in the first place? Why strike? Fake strike. Strike to negotiate money in your own personal pocket. Strike to stay relevant in the consciousness. Strike to stay relevant in the consciousness of the people like you are doing something while you are actually betraying them. Somebody here say, Oh, yeah, she may have kill maybe your name. I should say this guy not the real pastor Yaki Lume. <laughs> he say if food no day to job, how we won't go general strike. No be the fact say no food now make people they go strike. Anyway, so the youth of this country, as I said, the elders continue to put the responsibility of building the country, of developing the country, of fighting for the country on young people. Shame on you. Shame on the so-called elders. <laughs> The youth are too youth no get sense to get leader. Una wanna be their elders, Unko. Can't you be their leaders? Can't you come out and show them the way? Can't you stand for them? The things with these young people they talk about, is it a lie? Are you satisfied with your year salary? 
all the which I may be the this, especially those civil servants, especially the civil servants of Nigeria. I'm sure no, no matter what you have, they are happy because I don't know what they cause the problem. So you can never say civil servants one strike. Mm, I know, I know, I know, I know. Mokuna continue. Mokuna continue. So the organized abandonment of the elders in our agricultural sector in terms of being able to feed the nation, you know, is another reason why young people in this country owe these elders absolutely no respect. Thank you very much.